csak kopi. Am betű este. Hello, my relatives. Today is a good day. Hey, let's go on vacation. The hell with the world crashing down on us and the, the fact that the dollar is going to go out the window. Let's go on a vacation. We're Americans. I mean, we just celebrated 4th of July with our parades, even though we couldn't afford them. And even though we can't afford the gas, we're going to go on vacation. How about that? Let's pretend. Let's continue to pretend that the world is made for Americans. Okay? Hmm. 233 years. That's all we got, man. 233 years. Adios, America. Adios, American citizen. It's your fault, man. But go on vacation. Please continue to go on vacation. You know, I promised myself that out of obstinance, I was going to make sure I live long enough. If it took 120 years of my life, I was going to stay alive until the United States of America's government, its unconstitutional government, was going to fall. Wow, here I am, 70 winters old, and it's already happening. And I don't care what CNBC says. I don't care if your corporate pundits are telling you the recession is over. I saw that Friday on CNBC, man. That clown said the recession is over. You've hit bottom, now it's only going up. <laughs> I don't know what school he went to, but he didn't learn arithmetic. That's for damn sure. But we've discovered that in previous weekend updates, haven't we? Simple arithmetic. Debt vis-a-vis -vis income. What happens when you can't pay your credit card? What happens when you can't pay your mortgage? What happens when you can't pay China? What happens when you can't pay Saudi Arabia? Get my drift. Now, let's go on vacation. I mean, after all, for generations, for generations, the Americans have totally ignored their constitution. A country built on deceit will die by deceit. We Indians, we kept telling you. Tell your government to quit lying. Tell your government to obey the Constitution. Tell your government to be honest. Quit lying. We keep trying to warn you. Take care. Our mother lives. The earth is a living being. You cannot rape her without consequences. We keep trying to tell you. Huh? Respect your relatives' visions. We told you that over and over and over again. As you white people through deceit, advanced across the breadth of what is now the United States of America. We kept telling you. Respect your relatives' visions. 
Not just your human relatives, but your animal relatives, your insect relatives. But you rape your mother? You poison your insect relatives? And therefore, you poison all of us? All the rest of your relatives? Even your own family? Oh, America. That should be the title of a song. In that breath, in that meaning. Oh, America. You were such a wonderful idea. Too bad you didn't implement it. Oh, well. Let's go on vacation. That way we don't have to think about it. We don't have to think about our brother's vision, our sister's vision, our relative's vision. We don't think about anybody's visions, except our own. And let's buy more stuff. So folks, The impending, I mean, there are instances of where it's hurting. I just saw, not too long ago, on television, a story, a mainline story from one of the mainline networks, I think it was ESPN, I'm sure it was ESPN, it was about kids' sports in the summertime, mainly baseball, and how in one community in America, in Wisconsin, one all-American, all-white community, how everyone's been laid off in the town because of the GM plant, but they're still having a little league. They're still pretending. They're still going on vacation. Even though they can't afford it, they want their kids to appreciate vacations, I guess. <laughs> Let's go on vacation. Remember, the vacations are times to relax and rejuvenate. Isn't that? Am I wrong? Or do you keep a time schedule? You have to be at this monument at this time at this casino at that time, at this uh, aqua show, at this bubble bath, at this resort, at this, all on time. Otherwise, you're not going to enjoy your vacation. You, know? you got to be at that motel or that campground. Otherwise, you won't enjoy your vacation. Well, I happen to live in South Dakota. What was the state of South Dakota? <laughs> and there's tourists driving by all the time. And I wave to them. They don't ever stop and talk because they have to get to their campground. They have to get to their motel. They have to get to their monument. They have to get to their parade. They have to get to their park. So, forget the arithmetic. Forget being laid off. Forget the rest of America. Let's go on vacation. Don't shock it. I'll see you again.